Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to talk about why the first 30 minutes of a workout are extremely important. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, the first 30 minutes of a workout, I was perusing Facebook today. Somebody I followed uh, made a comment about the first 30 minutes of a workout if you aren't toast, if you aren't really super challenged and feeling almost semi-defeated in the first 30 minutes of a workout, then you really aren't working hard enough. And this is, it was odd because this is something I've preached before in this video, and it's something I firmly believe. A lot of people will wonder if they are working out hard enough, if they, how long they should work out, if the intensity is challenging enough. And I will say this. I always mention, hey, big, hairy, ugly dude, how long should I work out? How long is it okay to work out? Well, if you don't feel toast after the thir first 30 minutes of a workout, I will say you probably aren't working out hard enough. How long you go after that is completely up to you as long as you get in a reasonable amount of volume. So the question becomes, what does toast mean? What is intensity? Um, how hard should I be working out? Well, that's first established. We're not talking about puke bucket workouts. We're not talking about cardio conditioning type of workouts. This is resistance training. This is strength training. The goal isn't to make yourself puke. The goal isn't to see how many burpees you can get in 30 minutes. That's a different type of training. So let's establish that. Intensity or challenging in this sense is we're talking barbell and dumbbell exercises. Basically, in the first 30 minutes of your workout, you're going to be focused on barbell and dumbbell exercises. That's going to be the meat and potatoes of your first 30 minutes. In fact, it should probably be your first 30 minutes regardless of what type of workout you're doing, upper, lower, full, body split, whatever. So when you get into the gym using your dumbbells and barbells, you should feel so physically challenged, so physically taxed that after the first 30 minutes, Moving on to machines, isolation, body weight exercises, or whatever should feel like a good thing. You should feel a little bit relieved that you've moved on from the ball-busting work of progressing with a reasonable amount of volume in dumbbell and barbell exercises to something that is moderately less intense. And in this sense, intense doesn't mean weight relative to your one rep max. Basically, the bottom line is get in the gym and smash your balls or your vagina in the dust, whatever you have, the first at least 30 minutes. It's okay to go a little bit longer. Obviously, when we get a little bit stronger, there's going to be more rest in between sets. And sometimes at the end of my, uh, you know, at the peak when I was at my strongest, it would take me 45 minutes just to get through the first, uh, you know, exercise like squats or bench press or whatever because are deadlifts because of the rest in between sets. So 30 minutes isn't a rule. It's kind of a minimum guideline. Basically, the bottom line is if you aren't smashing your balls or vagina into dust in the thir first 30 minutes, it doesn't really matter how long you train after that. So the first 30 minutes are extremely important. They're your focal point. They're the meat and potatoes of a workout. Get in, use barbell and dumbbell exercises, have a reasonable volume, have a progression approach, smash yourself hard. My phone died there for a second. Smash your heart at least. Smash Smash the dumbbell and barbell exercises hard for at least the, the first 30 minutes and then move on to the of your workout and make sure you're progressing in those exercises as well. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.